Hi there, my name is David Harris. I've been an interior, exterior, commercial, and residential painter for the last 11 years now. And today we're gonna to discuss how to put a pinstripe pattern on a wall. Before you get started painting, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select a pinstripe pattern. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate a very simple equidistant pinstripe, which means that all the stripes are gonna be the same uh, width apart. But there are lots and lots of pinstripe patterns and they're not all the same. Some are gonna be much, much more complicated than what I'm gonna show you here today. So it's important to do the research and find a pinstripe pattern that you're gonna like in the end. What you're gonna to need to paint a pinstripe on a wall today is obviously a wall, some paint, a paintbrush, a tape measure, a chalk line, and some masking tape. Now, a word on the masking tape, this is gonna be one instance where you're gonna to wanna to buy the more expensive masking tape. And the reason that is, is because the more expensive painter's tape, they call it, is specifically made for the tasks that we're doing. The cheaper, more utilitarian masking tape um, has a tendency to peel the base coat off the wall and nobody's gonna to wanna to do that because it's just gonna mean more work for you in the end. So the first thing you're going to want to do to put a pinstripe on a wall is to lay it out. And you're going to need your tape measure and a pencil. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the far corner or the edge of the wall. And what I'm going to do today is a one foot uh, gap with a one inch pinstripe. So I'm going to measure to 12 inches. I'm going to put a mark there. I'm going to measure to 13 inches. I'm going to put a mark there. I'm going to move down to my next pinstripe. The next pinstripe is going to start at 25 inches end at 26 inches. I'm going to go further down the wall and I'm going to do it one at 38 inches and 39 inches and then obviously the last one's going to be at 51 inches and 52 inches. Then you're going to go to the top of your wall and you're going to do the same thing. So after you lay out your pinstripes and you just put really light pencil marks at the top and bottom of your wall, what you're going to want to do is you're going to move on to your chalk line. And so what you're going to do with the chalk line, if you've never used one before, is you're going to pull it and you're going to find one of your marks up at the top of the wall and you're going to find the mark at the bottom of the wall and you're going to want to lay the chalk line down and then you're just going to snap it like this. Then you're going to move on to your next line and you're going to lay it down and again you're just going to snap it. That's going to give you a perfectly straight line all the way from the top to the bottom of your wall. So now that we've done that, the next step is to get our masking tape and we're going to want to put the masking tape from the top of the wall to the bottom of the wall. So let's get doing that right now. So obviously the next step you're going to want to do is painting. And I'm going to show you three different techniques that you can do to paint within your pinstripe. Now I'm going to use black here. Just for illustrative purposes, you're obviously going to want to pick a color that um, works well with the base coat. So for an example, you might want to use a, a light brown and a dark brown, or a light green and a dark green, or you know, two colors that complement each other. Okay, so now that I've got the, uh, the solid pinstripes on there, I'm going to show you what you can do besides painting the solid color on the wall. And I'm just going to take a little bit of a sponge, which um, you can find at any painting supply store, and I'm going to sponge paint within the pinstripe. And I'm just going to do that by gently doing counterclockwise twists on the wall. final technique I'm going to show you is actually painting within the pinstripe. So it's going to start out just like a normal pinstripe or the first two pinstripes. 
I'm just gonna put a solid coat on there. And then we're gonna wait for this pinstripe to dry. So after we've let this last line dry, all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take a cheap little foam brush and we're just gonna take a little bit of white paint and we're just gonna do kind of some edgy little hashes on the wall. Nothing really fancy. Just some small cross hatching. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna see what it looks like when it comes off. All right, so now that we've given our paint a chance to dry, all that's left to do is remove the masking tape and take a look at our handiwork. And there you have it. So once again, my name is Dave Harris. I want to thank you for letting me share my expertise with you today. I'd like to wish you the best of luck in your future painting projects. And that is how you paint pinstripes on a wall.